Pirates, Stink Pink Gators, my Detroit players, Tim's for my hooligans in Brooklyn, That's dead it. right. <laughs> All right, guys, it's uh, just gone past seven o'clock in the morning, which um, is uh, quite a big thing for me. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably in the 5 a.m. club and getting up all kinds of hours in the day, but yeah, getting uh, gonna get to the pool for eight o'clock, meeting techno. Um, plan for today is to do an aerobic swim, so pretty steady, aiming for about four to five K or something like that. Not too hard, but we'll do it off like short turnarounds just to make it like more steady. Cause I find if you give yourself quite big turnarounds, on an easy swim, you can get carried away and feel like you need to push it harder because otherwise um, you, your heart rate goes down and you just get cold and you're not really doing anything. Yesterday was a really tough swim. Um, but I actually hit some of my best times so far at the winter, so over the moon with that. Um, so I'll take that as a massive positive. And on Sunday, got a 10K PB, just did 30, 58, which for a fatty that weighs 80 kilos, um, I'll take that. As you can see, I sound a bit nasally today. Um, to be honest, it came in, it came on on Saturday. I wasn't even sure if I was going to bother starting the race. Um, but I thought I'd travelled up there, which was like three hours away. So um, I thought, well, if I've travelled up there, I'll see how I feel in the morning. If I feel bad, then I'll just cruise it and just get a steady run in. If I feel good, I'll get stuck in and uh, kind of got stuck in and uh, just managed to sneak under 31 minutes, which is, which is my target. But... Today it's a fairly big day of training, but I would like to have done a bit more on the bike, but I don't really want to push it because I don't want to, I feel, although I sound nasally, I've been feeling pretty good, but I don't want to uh, put myself too far over the line and um, make myself feel, uh, come down with something properly um, and then end up missing two weeks of training leading into Oceanside, that would be pretty terrible. So plan is for about a four to five K swim, steady, not really any intensity at most, maybe some pick up 25s or something like that. but. Yeah, it'd be pretty cruisy. Um, then on the bike, three and a half hours would be decent. Um, gonna get the t pick the TT bike up. It's just been getting some work done in the shop at the moment. Cause getting a whole new crank system put onto it. Um, some nice watch shop ones, SRM crank. So we'll get some proper good numbers, but um, this will be my first ride on it. So um, power numbers could be down, could be up. Who knows? Like, don't know how accurate the stuff is, what I have been using, but we'll soon find out. So. We're gonna do, might do a couple of little efforts on the bike. Um, I say little efforts, probably just 20 minutes, um, aim for about 60 minutes worth, but just tempo. So harder than Ironman pace, probably less than 70 point, what I'd hope to do for a 70 point three. Um, and then the, the main part of the set of the day is the run off the bike, which will do three, 4K efforts with 1K flow. I'll start off with 1K easy first, so 1K easy, 4K on, 1K easy, 4k on, do that three times through, be 15k. Um, aim for around 330k pace for the ons, maybe around four minutes or something like that for the um, for the easy bit. Um, yeah, and we'll try and do that as soon as we can off the bike to make it specific. Just before I head to the pool, just getting a bit psyched up here, watching YouTube, got a proper athlete uh, doing some swimming here. Paul was doing 14, I doing 18. We don't have a lot of swimming. Come on, Tom, so let's see what you've got in the tank. Five. So I've got the set written down now, and I'm here with a very special athlete. Here we are, Techno. You looking forward to this one? Yeah, this will be all right, even though we did swim quite late last night for us, but first thing in the morning is not ideal, but we're here, so you we can need to get it done. You can see the nerves in his face because he's he knows he's gonna be doing nearly 3K, that's the set. No particular warm up for this set because it just starts off very easy to kind of build into it and uh, it's just the equivalent of a steady run, really. And then the pace picks up a little bit as you go on. Um, hopefully you should be feeling a bit better. I mean, if you really wanted to do some drills, you could at the start for the first few hundreds and take a little bit longer for the recovery. But yeah, basically starts off easy and then just picks up a little bit in pace as you get a bit more warmed up. Four and a half K in total. Um, should take just over an hour. Could make it up to 5K if we feel great or we'll head into the sauna. Be one of the two. Give a thumbs up, Techno. See you in a bit, guys. All right then, so now about to head out for a bike ride, as you can see, it's the lovely British weather. Got a few new upgrades onto the bike since the last time we filmed. So first of all, went into the tunnel and uh, this bit's four centimeters lower. So just practicing with this and getting used to it. Um, getting, some, getting a new base bar made. So this will all get changed again in the near future. And we've also got a new crank system on it. So we've got the watch shop cranks, um, and 
I've got an SRM on there, so hopefully no more dropout. Other than that, it's all basically the same as what it was. Um, plan is three and a half hours, three to three and a half, basically. I've mapped yeah. out a 120 kilometer route, so the faster I am, the quicker we get it done. Um, so it's always a good incentive. And then when I get back home, heading out for a run with te Techno, he's gonna meet me at mine, and we're gonna do three by 4K with a K cruising in between. So we'll start off with K easy, 4K on, 1K easy, 4K on, 1K easy, 4K finish. Um, and that'll be a good 15K run off the bike. Um, nothing too fast, just tempo, pace. Gonna do a few efforts on the bike. Um, not sure what the power will be because obviously first time using a new power meter so I've heard that these are the most reliable on the market so we'll see was my old power meter under reading am I weaker than I thought am I stronger than I thought probably weaker but we'll find out <laughs> um, so yeah let's just get let's get started what was the swim like earlier then the swim was pretty good to be fair like uh, I feel like my swimming's gone up a level the last two weeks um, so yesterday did a really good set where we did two 300s, um, threshold effort, had paddles on, but was hitting like 112s, 113s for them, didn't really feel that hard. And then 75s and 50s, just normal swimming, um, off like 130 for the 75, so decent recovery, but wanted to hit 400 meter race pace and was hitting like 50s, 51s, probably on average. Um, second set got down to 49 uh, and the 30s were all like between 30 and 32 seconds so that was really good um, solo in the lane so not sitting on anyone's feet like some people do you know they cheat cheat the system you know go two seconds behind the person in front and they think they're hitting fantastic times but it's uh fugazi <laughs> <laughs> yeah fugazi fugazi it's a wazi it's a woozy it's a f <laughs> it's not real <laughs> And then they get caught out when they go to a race and they go, oh, I'm swimming fantastic in training. I don't know what happened. Uh, well, I do. You were cheating because you were sat two meters behind the person in front and they were towing you along. Uh, you're not really in that shape. Uh, so uh, yeah, it was decent. And then today, endurance set started off very easy off like 140 turnarounds for the hundreds, just to, and then got down to like off 125s, basically. I mean, it was 400s and 200s, but yeah, deep, and it, but it felt easy to hit it. So. That was good. I will do some light tempo efforts on the bike, but I'm not, like I said before, I'll have to go by perceived effort, heart rate, and uh, see what the power is, because first time using this power meter. But it's not gonna be anything too hard, because if you can hear me, you probably think, can tell that I sound a bit bunged up, so I don't want to do anything too hard today. Um, I have been feeling pretty good, to be fair, but I don't want to push it too hard and end up making myself ill, um, and then missing 10 days of training, because it'd just be ridiculous. So, kind of riding the wave at the moment between doing enough, but not too much that you overcook it. Because they say there's no point being the fittest injured person on the start line. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll aim to start the run at like 5 p.m., something like that. Yeah, perfect, mate. I'll, I'll get to yours for five. Uh, yeah, get there just before that, because you know what it's like, we normally like end up messing around and chatting. So get there for like right. get there for like 4.50, because I reckon if anything, I might be a bit earlier. Um, right. And then we'll definitely, uh, that'll give us 10 minutes to head out, and then we should just about get it done before it gets dark. Yeah. All right, see ya. Bye. You about to witness hip hop in its most purest, most rawest form, flow almost flawless, most hardest, most honest, known artist. Chip off the old block, but old Doc is back. Looks like Batman brought his own robin. Oh God, the Don's got his own body, with his own body, playing his own body. Set the blow polish, don't move doors off the hinges, oranges, peach pears, plums, oranges. I don't think it's going to be uh, a very high power with this power meter, it's uh, pretty tight. Been to the wind tunnel, saved 15 watts and I've lost 15 watts of the power meter. <laughs> but we'll see, got Destiny's Child pumping, we'll see uh, if, that, if that's worth 10 watts or whatever, you know, so uh, we'll crack on. 69 kilometres left, 3 by 20 minutes coming up, 10 minutes easy in between probably if I'm lucky 300 watts for the hard ones on this um, with this uh, power meter but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes who knows I might be pleasantly surprised right then come on Beyonce let's go <laughs> So 
so uh, yeah, just got back from that ride. Gonna quickly get changed and then head out on the run. Uh, power was definitely lower than what it was on the previous power meter. I reckon I probably averaged like 320, I think it was the first one then, about 300 for the other. I had to stop the second one after 10 minutes because the lorry was just slowing me down so much my power went down from 320 to 305. So I was just like, what's the point? And then I did two 15 minute ones to finish, which made it an hour's worth of work, which is what I wanted. Um, but yeah, 20, probably like 20 watts lower on that power meter, um, I reckon. But it'll take me a few more rides really to figure it out properly. But the effort was about the same as what I would normally do. And that's the main thing. It doesn't really matter what the numbers say. Um, it's about how hard you're working and the intensity. And that was where, where, I, was, where I was hoping I'm not just going to kill myself just because the power meter's telling me it's lower than what it would normally be on a different one. Running is so much more simpler. At least with running, it is the same pretty much all the time, you know. I know 330s is roughly 330s unless it's really windy, whereas power meters make it so much more confusing. But the speed was really good for the effort, so that's a, that's a plus. Techno's upstairs, just going to quickly get changed and then uh, head out. So ask Mark Tyler what happened at the swim pool today, because there was a... He doesn't want to replay it, he's already oh, replayed Has he already told you, has he? I told Laura earlier. <laughs> she tried to kick me out before I'd even got in the water. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm here to stay. 15k coming up. I always think if you're going to run off the bike, you've got to run with intent. Like, there's no point dilly dallying about and uh, not putting any effort in, is there, Techno? <laughs> Fresh old watch. There's 30 minutes at 310s. Watch out, Patrick Lang. Fucking coming. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing that now. This watch is a slave driver. It always tells me to do brutal stuff and it always yours always you tells you to rest, doesn't it? Down. Yeah, yours is always telling you to slow down. Mine's trying to put me into a coffin. Um, so yeah, just a little cruise. Um, well, I'll say a little cruise. Four, 1K easy, 4K on, three times through to make 15K. And then a stay done, six hours. You all right? All right, here we go. Lincoln Park. <laughs> How will they pay you? When you first come in the game, they try to play you. Then you drive a couple of hits, look how they wait to you. From RC to Madison Square, to the only thing that matters is just a matter of years. As fate will have it, J status appears to be at an all time high. Perfect time to say goodbye. When I come back like George, we're in the 4 5. And every second I waste is more than I can.